I'm waiting for a call. <laughs> I can't see the thighs right now, but the thigh game's strong. And squawking. So I shouldn't be looking at that, right? You're sitting down and then they get up, then they yell at you like, I told you to leave, let's go. And you're like, boy, you literally told me this half an hour ago, two hours ago. And then it's like, don't ask me questions, we're leaving now. And it's like, and then it's like, basically you gotta do that walk of shame outside. My mom will say, let's go, my dad never wants to leave. So we're literally all bombarding him, like texting him, like, let's go, let's go, we'll lie to him, like, we're waiting in the car. And then like literally an hour later it'll come out and then the car will be like, yeah guys, I've been wanting to leave. And we're just like, really? She's stuck over there for maybe another 15 minutes. My dad's outside in the car. I'm in the middle just like pulling on both strings. Like, hey Faison, go get ready. And then just watch us talk to people for another 20 minutes. This is the time that you're gonna come downstairs, but then the auntie or uncle is gonna take them back again for like, Oh, no, 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 I'll be nice, yo. Chai, 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 chai. They're gonna offer them chai. So for another hour and a half, we're just chilling there, drinking chai, just talking about random stuff. It's it's a huge scientific algorithm. So <laughs> when some there's some key phrases that they say, like chai time. Chai time can range from 30 minutes to two hours. <laughs> It depends if, if they bring the biscuits. Though. Yeah, if they bring the biscuits, oh my, you don't know how long that's gonna be. So I'll be like, Mom, I have a headache, and she'll take the cron, and she'll be like, oh. I'm like, thanks, Mom. She's like, no, I'm not finished. I'm like, I have to be. So don't fuck it over you. And I'm like, it's so long. And they're like little like seeds. I don't know what they are, what they do, but my mom believes in them, so I gotta follow it, you know. Mom, I'm like, can, can I just have a Tylenol? I swear, my mom loves. Sprite and salt and pepper. I have no idea why, but it works, I swear. <laughs> My mom's all about the yuckney for anything, like just like headache, yuckney, broken arm, yuckney, dying, yuckney. It's soup. Soup? Yeah. It's food full of honey. It's a little bit of like bay. It's healthy. Like if I ever sprain my finger, instead of taking me to the doctors and like getting like that little splint, I'm gonna be like Haldi Ligado. And then Haldi leaves like this really like yellow mark on your skin. She makes these weirdest shakes ever. So my mom definitely makes weird milkshakes. She like crams every single fruit you can think of. Yes. Sometimes she just goes too much. She'll just mix the wrong fruits. She'll mix like the wrong, like some, if we don't have almonds, like I don't know, maybe she'll switch out cashews and like you can't do that. Almonds, almond dates, <laughs> oh, honey, every milk. The whole fridge is going like in this milkshake. <laughs> she gives it to me so like pilo. Mom, this milkshake does not taste right. My taste buddies, they know. Fam, don't give me the soup. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. It's, like, <laughs> it's pretty good. A little, a little tub. Oh, we're gonna wash my butt like, yeah. uh, after I poop. Oh my god, it's the most stressful thing in the whole entire world. So basically, I, she doesn't use a lot. I don't use though. a lot out of home. Which is if I had it, well, I'm not gonna use a lot because what am I gonna do? Get like a bottle of That's something? disgusting. Dude, water bottle? No, and no, no, a paper towel? towel. You yeah. have to put the paper in the bathroom stall though. Yeah. Dude, they don't have a lot. I might as well be prepared all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so out of home, usually I take a toilet paper, stick it in. Inside the toilet, get that water when it's already clean. <laughs> and then you gotta wipe, okay? <laughs> it's already clean water, it's not dirty. The best like thing I can do is have a water bottle with me. And literally if I have a full water bottle, I'll drink the whole entire thing just so I can use it to like as a lota. But if not, I would have to hit up a vending machine or something. So yeah, I would have to buy a lota, worst case scenario. Yeah. And then I realized, oh crap, I don't have a water bottle. So what do you do? You take a little peek while your pants are down. Get some toilet paper, wet that in the sink, look around, and then go back and then wipe. But then most of the time you like, Are your pants off now? Yeah, doing? the pants are off. So if someone walks in, I'm done. You go outside, you like get a paper towel and go outside in the sink and wet it. You do that? You do not do that! We go out together all the time! I straight up took a McDonald's cup <laughs> and I hid it behind the toilet. <laughs> Literally, yeah, I hit it behind the toilet. And you know, like I didn't have a load with me, so I used to like sneak in the water bottle, like so my roommate wouldn't think, like, why do you, why are you, like, do you get thirsty on the toilet? Or something? <laughs> just, like, this is the crucial part that like people forget. Make a nest around the uh, the toilet with the toilet paper, yeah, okay? Yeah, exactly. And then if you have to, like, you know the uh, the squat toilets in Pakistan? Oh. It's okay to like squat, like squat on top of the nest. 
Usually what I try to do is I'll try to stay Hold on. I have to I have to like share an experience with right. I went to this Ikna thing, right? Mm -hmm. I got a gift. A portable lota. No. Way. Genius! Using a lota is cleaner and people yeah. don't Realize they don't right? understand. Like using water, if you have like if you smear chocolate syrup on a tip on my hand, for example. Yeah. And I take a napkin. Yeah. And I s and I try to wipe that off. It's gonna smear. Yeah. There's still like marks on the hand. If I wash it, it's gonna run off. Yeah, like, exactly. It actually comes off. They don't understand. It's a science. I think I would hang up real fast. My first reaction when I find that out would be to call Kusei just so that we have whatever happened, story aligned with each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then we make Dua. <laughs> My friends and I have a promise with each other that they call me and make sure that I know what the situation is so that when their mama calls, I know exactly what I'm saying to them because if they need me alive, I'm a half alive. Their battery, phone battery, I think died. You do so much jute. What? Yeah, you do a lot of jute. <laughs> no, it's not jute. I it mean, is like, jute. You're no. like making stuff I'm up. I'm not making stuff up, but like, I'm also not telling the truth. So. Jute. <laughs> Straight up jute. Zainu's my only friend, and if her mom calls me, I don't answer. <laughs> oh my god, you cannot put that in there! You could just be cool with the aunties. I mean, I am cool with the aunties, but like, I clearly not. You're not cool enough. But that's their fault for not telling their, you know, mom. If auntie's calling me up and she's like, I don't know where Usman is. I'm gonna be like, I don't know where Usman is either. Let me find out. Then I'm gonna give Usman the panty before his mom gives him the panty. This is the day of a nerd, you know who it is. This is the day of a nerd, you know who to whiz. This is the day, because I got buckers all around me. Oh, I can show you how it goes. It's that B-I-T flow for E-I-D, yo, and check it.